guys? Choose Wife here with Ju behind the camera. What's going on, guys? So today we went to uh, Triad Anime Con, and we it was a small con, so we didn't vlog or anything like that. We just want to do a brief little haul video on some of the stuff we got. As we've gotten into our collecting, we've kind of been a lot more choosier about what we get. We don't buy a lot of um, art and things like that as much anymore, just because you know. You run out of room in a house. So mostly we go to meet people and to get some of our stuff signed. Um, so without further ado, we'll jump right into who we met. So today we met the voice of Gentle Criminal. Who is John Gramillion. Yes, John Gramillion. He was a little bit late um, because there were some flight issues. Uh, but I'm really glad we got to meet Gentle. Um, he signed it, I love you, La Brava. And then his name. I really love when they do quotes. Um, I don't love when they charge more for them because I think it kind of takes away from the experience a little bit. But the cool thing about him was that with whatever you, if you had your pop, if you were buying a pop signature, he went ahead and threw in a selfie, which is nice. I appreciate that. I think that's good for the fans, good for the little morale. Because when you're having to pay for a signature, a quote, and it's up price because it's on a pop, I think it gets really frustrating to fans. So I like that he did a selfie with us um, that was included in the price. I think that's worth it. Um, he's the voice of a few different um, characters. He's the voice of um, one of the chefs from Food Wars. And he's the uh, voice from One Piece. What does he voice be? I have no idea. Oh, well, he's one of the voices from One Piece. And um, he's he was very nice. He was pretty personable. Um, so yeah, that was him. We also met Matt Shipman, who is the voice of Inasa in uh, My Hero. Um, I'm a big My Hero fan. I've recently become one in the last year. I really enjoyed the story, and Inasa is a good character to me. I like that he yells everything, and um, he signed it, and it says, I apologize, because that's what he says a lot. So uh, Matt Shipman was really nice, and he actually didn't charge extra for a quote. Of course, it is a little bit more for a pop, and we didn't bother to do a selfie with him, um, but we would have if, we, if we'd if we really wanted one, but he was very nice, quite personable. He really liked you shirt, um, which has a bunch of different anime characters on it, and he recognized all of them, was naming them off. He's like, go, man, it's a nice compilation shirt, so that was cute, um, so enjoyed meeting him. The next one was the one I was most excited for, I'll be honest, and it was Sarah Wiedenheft. Um, she's the voice of Zeno, and I love Zeno. I think it's an adorable character, and it's, you know, kind of bad A in uh, Dragon Ball Super. So she, her, poor thing, her flight was delayed. She was late, and she got to the hotel, and they gave her a dirty hotel room. So she had a really long day, and she showed up, and she was so nice super nice like just um you know wanted to know our names wanted to talk to us for a few minutes and was very respectful um she wrote on my little zeno pop shut up or i'll erase you and then like her signature is really cute i don't know if you can see it very well but i think it's adorable she kind of draws a little bit with her signature and i just i really liked it um a lot of times i'll have quotes in mind but i really didn't know what i wanted zeno for zeno so i i like that she did that one i think that's a cute one it shows the cuteness and the badassery at the same time. And she's also the voice of Pony Sonori um, from My Hero. So I'm kind of going with a the theme here, getting my My Hero pop sign from the voice dubs. Um, so she wrote on that one, um, Horn Cannon, because that's one of the things she voices as well. And we did get a selfie with her. She's very cute and very nice. And I 10 out of 10 would recommend meeting her. Um, so that's the pops we got signed. I didn't get anything this con, which I'm totally fine with. My, our rooms are pretty full. Um, but Chu did get some 20% um, off cover price manga. So he got uh, Dragon Ball 16, Dragon Ball Z 16 and 18 that he needed. And Naruto number 67, because he's working towards completing both of these collections. So um, that was good, needed. We don't love paying cover price for things, so any, anything that saves us a little bit, we enjoy. Um, 
thoughts about the con it, it was pretty well organized i can't complain about that parking was pretty easy there was multiple parking options um you could get to everything easily uh this is also one of the cons that did the sign up for your time to go get your signatures so while they were late they did let us go in order of the times we slots we had signed up for uh so that was really nice um i like that because you're not waiting in line for two hours you can go do other things instead of waiting in line forever and ever, amen. And they do it around the panels, which I think is a great idea. So that was good. Everyone at the con was super friendly. The people walking around that were safety um, actually <laughs> randomly would challenge people to rock, paper, scissors, which was cute. So we did a rock, paper, scissors battle randomly. Um, the only thing, and this is just my opinion, I felt like there weren't a lot of people selling Funkos, which I don't know if it's becoming less popular because it doesn't seem to be, or if, but this is the second con that we've been to recently that really didn't have hardly any Funkos. We see a lot of statues, but we don't see a lot of Funkos. What are your thoughts, honey? I thought that kind of with you, like there wasn't many Funkos. There wasn't a ton of vendors either. Um, and this, this, this convention is part of the same circuit that uh, we went earlier to in uh, January. For with, MomoCon? Yeah. No, not MomoCon. Um, was it uh, Ichiban Con? Ichiban, yes. Yeah, MomoCon, I think, is the next one, but that's in South Carolina. So all those are in the same circuit, but they they had more in the, I guess you could say, retail, or I guess you could say in the, uh, in the hall, where they had in Charlotte when we went to that one. This one, it was just smaller. Um, they did have an area for, you know, the artists and, you know, the vendors, but I agreed there wasn't a ton of like Funkos. And I'm not saying that, you know, there had to have been, but it would have been nice to at least see one vendor have some more Funkos because a lot of them were more recent ones that have been released, not necessarily any like ones that you would have needed or hard to come by to add to collection. Yeah. So there was that, um, I would have wished there was that, but I do like that they definitely had room, and it could have been because it was Friday, it was Friday afternoon too, because people were, you know, weren't bunching up, and it was very easy to walk around, and I do like that. Uh, one thing that I think would have been nice would have been maybe perhaps more panels um, that could have added something more to it, because... We, we weren't entertained so much as to, like, the panel selection. And I, I'm not blaming anyone there. It's just, you know, perhaps maybe in the future they could do something about that. But it was a very accessible uh, convention. Uh, I do like that for this convention and the one they do for Ichiban, that there are times for that because it gives that order. We were, in fact, the first people to meet Sarah when she came in. Mm -hmm. She was actually, and I feel bad for those that may not have gotten to meet her, uh, but we were able to meet her first, which is, you know, always a plus, obviously. But um, she was like, like, you know, uh, my wife said, you know, she was a bundle of energy. She was really nice, smiles. And despite everything that she had gone through, she was willing to meet people. And so I really, really appreciate that with the time crunch and everything, she was able to still meet us and meet other fans. So I do like that. John Gramellion was also on that flight. Uh, but he seemed to be much more accessible and he didn't have any other panels that night. So he could have stayed till like closing. So, uh, but yeah, the, the selection of people that they had was nice. Uh, we continue on with her, my hero, uh, Funko collection getting signed. And I liked that, you know, so I, I definitely don't have much complaining there. So I think that's kind of my biggest thoughts. Um, uh, we have some more cons coming up as the year progresses, more so in the summer. Uh, there's a few people on our list that we found out are going to be pretty close by that we're excited to meet later on as long as they don't cancel. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for this evening. Again, guys, um, if there's a con you want to see us attend or suggestions you want to give, give us a comment, like, subscribe, anything like that. If there's something else you want to see in the videos, if you want to see different things from our collection let us know and we'll see what we can do so as always stay safe and we will catch you later later